If you've been following me for a while, you've probably got a pretty solid wardrobe by now. Well, you may also be broke, but you may not know when to wear these certain items that you have because obviously certain occasions call for certain outfits. You're not going to show up to hang out with the boys in a suit and tie, just like you're not going to go for your first job interview in a clubbing outfit. So I have created 10 outfits for 10 different occasions that I believe the average person will go to at some point in time. FYI, all the links to the items that I show in today's video will be in the description below. So starting with our first occasion, we have the fancy dinner. Now, when you think of a fancy dinner, you're thinking evening time, dim lighting, candle lit. So what you want to do is embody that into an outfit. I like to choose darker colors, so I go with either navy or black. I wear a nice button-down shirt with a pair of trousers and some loafers. And when it comes to accessories, I'd probably go with a watch. If you like rings, maybe you can add two rings as well. And remember, if you're there with a woman, you wanna make sure, I mean, regardless if you're there with a woman or not, I would still do this, but if you're there with a woman, make sure that you're rolling up those sleeves so those forearm veins are popping so she can imagine you choke slamming her onto the fucking bed. <laughs> Kidding. Only with consent. And for your fragrance, I'd go with something a bit seductive, a bit mysterious. So out of my personal collection, I'd probably choose Tom Ford Noir or YSL Tuxedo. Next occasion we have is the club. Now I know you, you're gonna be busting up a move on the dance floor, so you're gonna be sweating up a storm. Okay, more realistically, you'll probably just be jumping up and down doing fucking nothing but bobbing your head. You're still gonna sweat, so you wanna make sure you're wearing something that's breathable, that gives you mobility, like a cap collar shirt, maybe a crochet shirt. And I'd personally go with a bright color or something that is patterned because it's just cooler. Most dudes in the club are just wearing black it's super boring you're not gonna stand out if you just wear black so wear something that's patterned that's colorful and as for your pants maybe go for denim or go for a drawstring trouser something that's still gonna give you mobility as for your shoes a sneaker that you do not care about getting puked on stepped on spit on nutted on puked on I am personally still gonna wear a white sneaker you guys know me I just wear white sneakers at all times but if you're smart you'd probably wear something like a Converse Chuck Taylor something that's cheap as black that you don't really care too much about having to replace accessory wise you can go with as many many as you'd like. And as for your fragrance, you're going to want to go with something that is kind of sweet, that's citrusy. I'd go for like Ultra Male or go for Versace Eros. On to the next one, we have the coffee date. Now the coffee shop kind of gives me warm, cozy vibes. So you want to match that again with your outfit. So I'd go for colors that are warmer, like whites, creams, tans, browns, olives. So I'd personally go with something like a cable knit sweater with a gilet over top and then a pair of blue denim jeans and some sneakers. Now this isn't overly casual, but it's not overly dressed up either for the occasion. I think it suits it perfectly. And then when it comes to your fragrance, you're going to want to go again for something that is warm, maybe something boozy like Mason Margiela Jazz Club, Dior Homme or Bentley for men. And as for your accessories, a watch, maybe two rings, whatever you feel comfortable with. Next occasion, we got hanging out with the boys. Now, mobility is going to be key with this occasion because you never know what the fuck you're going to get up to. We're with in the, the boys. sewers of France right now. What type of adventure you're going to go on. We're in the Venice canals right now. What type of terrain you're going to endure, but you still want to look fly. So when it comes to the pants, I personally choose something that looks like a nice trouser, but is actually something that is very stretchy. So if I have to make some crazy maneuver, I can do it and not end up splitting my pants open or eating shit. On top, I usually just go with a t-shirt with a quarter zip. For my shoes, you gotta get something that's virtually indestructible. The New Balance 550 is that sneaker for me. And then for your fragrance, signature fragrance, unless you want to seduce the boys and go for the date night fragrance. If you're not doing something a little bit sus every once in a while, are you guys really friends? Like, let's be honest. <laughs> and as for your accessory wise, wear whatever you'd like. The next occasion is the beach slash picnic occasion. And linen is going to be your go-to choice for a fabric if it is extremely hot. Now, when you're going on a beach date, you're gonna wanna have your swim trunks on, obviously. And as for your top, I'd go for a either a long sleeve linen shirt or a short sleeve linen shirt. And then obviously you're gonna need some sunglasses as well. Accessory wise, I'd probably just go with a necklace unless you wanna end up losing rings and stuff like that in the ocean. And then on your feet, just some sandals. Now for the picnic, you could go for the linen shirt as well, or you could go for a sweater polo. As for your pants, I'd go with a nice linen trouser or a lightweight cotton trouser. For your shoes, either sandals, suede loafer, or sneaker. For your accessories, a casual watch, maybe two rings, a pendant necklace. And for your fragrance, you'll just want to go for something that's fresh and light, like Dolce Gabbana Light Blue Intense, or Aqua Di Gio Profondo, or even Joe Malone Wood Sage and Sea Salt. Next up, we have the church outfit. Now, if you're not Christian, feel free to skip this, but for me, I've, God is a massive part of my life, so I go to church, and I also dress up very nicely for church. I wear a nice button 
button down shirt with a pair of trousers and some loafers. When it's a bit colder and I can't just wear that, I'll usually throw one of my wool or cashmere sweaters over top. As for my accessories, I just wear a watch and then my fragrance, I wear my signature fragrance, Dior Homme. Now the next occasion we have is the brunch date. Now the brunch date is very similar to the coffee date in regards to you want to wear warmer colors. Now the difference between the two is you want to wear trousers instead of wearing denim jeans. As for your upper layers, it's going to depend on the weather, obviously, but I'd go for either a short sleeve sweater polo or a long sleeve sweater polo. Then I would add a gilet on top. For your footwear, go with a nice slim leather sneaker or a suede loafer. For your accessories, just a nice casual watch and two rings. And for your fragrance, it's going to be the same as the coffee date. Now, the next occasion we got is the job interview. Now for the job interview, absolute bare minimum, you want to be showing up in a white button down shirt with a pair of trousers, either gray or navy. For your shoes, you want to wear a formal shoe. And for your watch go with a nice dress watch either on a leather strap or a silver band and for your fragrance just go in with your signature fragrance and this is the absolute bare minimum like I said guys you always want to go into a job interview dressing nicely to make the best first impression now if you're gonna be wearing suits for most of the time then obviously show up in a suit next occasion we got is the gym now I'm not gonna make a gym outfit for the douchebags like me because then you just be wearing a tank top and sweatpants that's what I usually wear I'm talking about your average Joe Schmo gym goer who's more conservative and just wants to wear something that's decent to the gym that's not too revealing. And I would personally go with a pair of joggers from either Under Armour, Nike, Lululemon, and then an athletic shirt on top from any of those previous brands. And then also a quarter zip to go over top of that when you're warming up again from any of those previous brands. Now for your shoes, you just wanna wear anything that you're actually gonna feel comfortable training in. And as for your scent, I personally just go with deodorant. I don't wear any fragrance because it can be a bit too much sometimes in the gym. But if you really wanna go with a fragrance, I would suggest Chanel Allure Homme Spark. That is 10 different outfits for 10 different different occasions. If you guys enjoyed this video, please drop the video a like. And if you want another one of these, drop some different occasions that you guys go to in the comment section below. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. See ya!